Moreover fossil fuels, Toyota has a new ride in town. Their latest engine runs entirely on hydrogen, emitting water vapors instead of harmful CO2. It's the perfect solution for anyone who wants to save the planet without sacrificing style. In this video, we'll explore Toyota's hydrogen fuel cell technology and how it's revolutionizing the car industry. Get ready to say goodbye to gas guzzlers and hello to a more sustainable future. Toyota has been around forever and dominate the market because they make cars for every budget and taste. But that's not all. Their engines are top-notch too. Toyota's been in the engine game since the 1930s, and now their engines can be found in all sorts of vehicles. And let's talk about their commitment to the environment. Toyota announced the Environmental Challenge 2050, which is all about reducing CO2 emissions. They're investing in electric vehicles, hydrogen fuel cell technology, and renewable energy sources. And get this, they're even introducing a new engine that runs on hydrogen and emits water vapors instead of carbon dioxide. Talk about going green. But wait, there's more. Toyota's also big on innovation and technology. They were one of the first companies to introduce hybrid cars to the market, and they're still a leader in developing hybrid and electric vehicles. Their hybrid system uses a gasoline engine and an electric motor to power the vehicle, improving fuel efficiency and reducing emissions. And let's not forget about safety. Many of their models earn top safety ratings, so you can feel secure while cruising down the highway. But where did it all start? It all began in 1934, when they produced the Type A engine. Sure, there were some initial difficulties in creating the water jacket's core, but Toyota completed their first prototype engine in September of 1934. The engine was limited to cast parts manufactured in-house, but after redesigning the cylinder head, it exceeded the output of the Chevrolet. And the rest, as they say, is history. Once upon a time, back in 1992, Toyota started exploring the possibility of using fuel cell engines. Fast forward to 2013, the Toyota Motor Show saw the debut of Toyota's first ever hydrogen-powered concept car, with a fuel cell system that could generate more than 100 kilowatts of output power and had a power density of 3 kilowatts per liter. This baby could reach 650 kilometers without emitting any nasty pollutants except for water vapor. How cool is that? Now, let's talk about fuel cell engines. They are the ultimate gadget that can turn hydrogen into electricity using a process called electrolysis. By splitting hydrogen molecules into protons and electrons, fuel cells generate an electric current that can power a vehicle's electric motor. And the best part? Fuel cells produce nothing but water and heat, making them super eco-friendly. But even Toyota had to learn from experience, and the 2021 Toyota Mirai was their second attempt at making a fuel cell car. It had better packaging and improved aerodynamics, allowing it to travel further. Unfortunately, the Mirai didn't exactly set the world on fire, and Toyota had to go back to the drawing board to figure out how to make hydrogen power work better. Forget about fuel cells. This time they're using hydrogen as the actual fuel for a good old combustion engine. Yeah, they decided to give their 1.6 liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine from the GR Yaris and GR Corolla a little makeover. How you ask? Well, they slapped on a heavy-duty fuel tank to store hydrogen under intense pressure, and voila! They gave birth to the mighty Corolla Crossover H2 concept, a hydrogen internal combustion engine car like no other. Now, let us break it down for you. This baby doesn't work like your ordinary combustion engine. This baby doesn't work like your ordinary combustion engine. Oh no. It's got thick armored fuel tanks because, you know, hydrogen is a super flammable gas. And to tackle that explosive issue, they beefed up the engine with hardened valves, valve seats, and tougher connecting rods and fuel injectors. All these modifications are to ensure that we don't blow up from the highly flammable nature of hydrogen. So, how does it work, you ask? Well, picture this. Hydrogen gas and oxygen have a little party in the combustion chamber. They mix together, get all cozy, and then BAM! Ignition by a spark plug, just like your good old gasoline engine. But wait, there's more. Toyota even teamed up with Yamaha Motor to create a hydrogen-fueled V8 engine that's a beast. It's gonna churn out a mind-blowing 455 horsepower and 398 pound-feet of torque. And get this, it's going to have a unique high-frequency sound thanks to its fancy 8-into-1 top-mounted exhaust manifold. Here's the cool part. 
unlike those pesky gasoline engines that spew out all sorts of nasty stuff like carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxides, this hydrogen combustion engine is a saint. It produces zero emissions. Yep, you heard that right. The only thing coming out of its tailpipe is good old water vapor. So if you're into saving the planet and all that jazz, this hydrogen powered wonder is the way to go in the transportation world. And hold on to your hats, because there's another advantage. These hydrogen combustion engines are super duper energy efficient. Hydrogen packs a serious punch in the energy density department, so these engines can convert more of that power into useful energy. Plus, they can be designed with a higher compression ratio, which makes them even more efficient. And you know what that means? They reduce the need for materials like lithium and nickel, which are crucial for those fancy EVs. Toyota's got their hydrogen game on point with this modified hydrogen chugging monster. It's all about zero emissions, energy efficiency, and a touch of Yamaha-powered awesomeness. One big hurdle is the lack of infrastructure for distributing hydrogen fuel. Unlike good old gasoline, hydrogen needs special high-pressure tanks and a fancy fueling system. But guess what? That infrastructure is as rare as a unicorn right now, making it a struggle for hydrogen-powered cars to go mainstream. Oh, we're not done yet. The cost of producing hydrogen fuel is another thorn in our side. Currently, most hydrogen is made from natural gas, which, spoiler alert, is a fossil fuel. So yeah, hydrogen isn't exactly a fully renewable energy source just yet. But fear not, researchers are working their magic to find more sustainable ways of making hydrogen, like using renewable electricity to power the water splitting process. We're talking about some serious scientific mojo here. Now, let's talk emissions. Hydrogen can be considered a clean energy source because it spits out water vapor instead of nasty emissions, but it's not all rainbows and butterflies. When hydrogen burns, it can produce these pesky oxides of nitrogen, or NOx for short. But guess what? NOx is a fancy word for pollutants. But hey, if we increase the amount of oxygen, we can reduce the NOx emissions. But here's the catch. Gasoline combustion engines have a leg up in that department. So, if you want equal horsepower, you might need a bigger engine, and that means shelling out more moolah. But hey, researchers are working hard to overcome these obstacles and make hydrogen a true hero in the energy world. Toyota may not be the sole genius behind the hydrogen combustion engines. Way back in the early 2000s, BMW had its own shot at glory with the BMW 7 Series E65. Oh, it was a sight to behold. This beauty ran on hydrogen instead of boring old gasoline or diesel. BMW decided to go all out and produce a whopping 100 units of this experiment on wheels. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty. The Hydrogen 7 had not one, but two tanks. Yes, double the tank fun. One tank was reserved for hydrogen, while the other sneaky tank held gasoline. Can't leave those fossil fuels out of the party, right? But let's focus on the star of the show, the hydrogen tank. It was a mighty beast, almost 170 liters in size, and it had a fancy bi-layer insulation that kept the hydrogen chilled. And get this, the hydrogen was stored as a liquid, which apparently packs 75% more energy per volume than compressed gas. That's some serious liquid power. But wait, there's more. The hydrogen tank's insulation was under high vacuum, like some intergalactic space contraption. Why, you ask? To keep the pesky heat transfer away from the hydrogen, of course. We don't want our hydrogen getting all hot and bothered. Now, BMW boldly claimed zero emissions for this baby, but oh boy, the EPA had a bone to pick. They weren't convinced. They argued that the engine used in the prototypes was still an internal combustion engine. And guess what? Internal combustion engines need lubrication, which means tiny oil particles could sneak their way into the combustion chamber. Not exactly emissions free, huh? Well, the EPA raining on BMW's parade didn't sit well with them. They were so disappointed that they completely abandoned the project. Talk about throwing in the towel. As we zoom towards a net zero future, fuel cell vehicles will rise to the occasion. It's like a recurring pattern, you know? And with time, those clever engineers might just crack the code and find permanent solutions to the woes of hydrogen combustion engines. Let's hope they can solve the riddles that plague these engines and make them shine brighter than ever. But here's the million dollar question. Is Toyota's hydrogen combustion engine worth it? Let us know what you think about it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.